Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I have another repair video to show you guys. Uh, I got a customer uh, brought this uh, phone to me, and then uh, as you can see, the right hand side, the button does not work, and then the cancel. So I guess uh, on the right corner or the edge of the, this uh, display is dead. But on the emergency, see when I try to uh, touch the number three, it does not display at all. Let me let me try to zoom in for you guys to see clear. So you can see three, six, nine, pound, and then cancel. As you can see, when I press it, the screen is uh, kind of flickering. So I believe it is the bad. LCD or digitizer So if I press 2 it shows 2 5 Some I gotta press hard 8 0 Star key 7 4 1 And then uh, to go back it doesn't work either so let me see if I can press send. It says emergency call only. So all the keys on the left two uh, column is working. And then the one on the third column is not. So I'm going to attempt to uh, take this apart. Try to see the con uh, digitizer cable connection, see if it's loose or anything like that. Hopefully it's an easy fix. If not, then then the, the customer required to purchase a, a new display. So this video, I'm going to try to troubleshoot it. And I'm recording a live for you guys to see. Got my suction cup and my cut my fingernail. Jeez. There you go. Got a gap right there. So if oh, if you have a long fingernail, you can try to do this. If not, then you need a suction cup. I can open the gap already. So it's kind of hurt because uh, my fingernails, I cut it, it's not too long anymore. So, And uh, while I was inspecting the display, it's kind of have line, line, line. You see the display is kind of discoloring a little bit. Let's see. You see that on the right hand side, you see a whole bunch of line. I believe the digitizer or the screen is messed up already. But I'm trying to attempt to do an easy fix. Let me turn it off. Make sure it's off. What the is still on? <laughs> okay, it's off now. Make sure I put this, those two screws aside. I don't lose it. And there's a flex cable right there. Let me 
pop it up. So this one seems like somebody already have a uh, repair already previously. Cause there's a uh, supposed to have a clip to lock it to its place, and then unfortunately it's not there. Okay, let's see. And we're gonna remove those uh, four uh, Phillips screws. So when you remove a screw, you need to identify which is called with what. This is the very short one. So I believe the one uh, close to the SIM card tray are two short one, and then the one on the top are the a little bit longer. From my uh, previous uh, experience, so. Yeah, see, this is a little bit longer. Pop it up. So right now, I, I'm gonna use my fingernail to pop up the screen, the flex cables. I'm going to inspect it, make sure there are no corrosion. Looks uh, pretty clean to me. So this one is the... Uh, this is not original displays. They have replaced already by the sticker. So probably the display is bad because uh, when I open the to remove the screen, this one did not have a lock, <coughs> like a clip to lock it to its place because it is very difficult to put that one in. Trying to see if there's any water damage. So there's a sticker for the water damage is still uh, white. It does not show pink or anything, so it is still good. So I'm gonna attend to. Uh, Disconnect the battery. Sometimes that would uh, fix the issue. But by looking at it, it seems like it, the screen is already defective. So let's uh, test it out. So this is your uh, battery connector right here. So let's leave it for like a minute or so. And then uh, try to reset it and see. So I'm gonna try to put the screen back. I'm just going to bend a little bit of the cables. Sometimes that will do the trick.
but I'm not going to put I'm not going to put the home button uh, flex cable in right now. If the I'm I'm just trying to test out the screen, see if uh, it works or not. Probably not because I can see this, the lines. So probably the customer put the phone in their pocket or something, back pocket, and then they sit on it. So most likely uh, the customer will require to uh, purchase a new dis uh, display. It's very sensitive. I'm going to touch from the back, making all those uh, indentation mark. <laughs> nope. So yeah, the final result for the troubleshooting is that the screen is bad. Because sometimes if you you could uh, connect and reconnect this uh, flex cable for the screen, and that will solve the problem. But by looking at the screen, it's, it is already damaged already due to those uh, lines. So yeah, so the customer will require it to buy a new uh, screen with the digitizer. All right, guys. So that will end uh, today's video to troubleshoot the screen is not working on the right side of the digitizer. All right, guys. Please uh, be sure to like the video and give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so yet. Please uh, comment and share and turn on your notification. Alright, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Peace.